Yeah, what's going on, YouTube family? It's me again, your boy Blood Raw. I see different back at y'all with another quick informative video. Remember to make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh yeah, make sure you post notification bell on so you will be alerted every time I continue to drop that. Ugh! Throw Ike's on my YouTube channel, baby. Let's go. This video here, man, is very, very informative, man. I just want to bring y'all up to speed when dealing with Vladimir Putin of Russia, the president of Russia. He has basically made direct threats to the United States of America, warning them that he is not bluffing and he will use his nuclear capabilities when defending himself and his country, Russia. Man, you got to take in consideration, man. We are on the brink of World War III. And like our own Secretary of Defense stated in a press briefing, I believe, Sunday, that they will not stand by and let Vladimir Putin take Ukraine. Man, this shit is on a whole bigger scale, man. I'm telling you, man, he even sat there and said, we are at a 50% chance. Uh, basically, he said a 50-50 chance we will go into a nuclear war with Russia if they don't stand down and back off Ukraine. This is what you got to take into consideration. Why is our government, the Democratic Party, and Republicans, all which are two different wings on the same bird, worry about a totally another country, for one, that's not even our ally, for two, that's not even a part of NATO, three, that has so much corruption up to now and back them in their past history dealing with their own government, and we got open borders right here in America. Just sit back and let that shit marinate on your brain, people. I'm telling y'all, man, all the other countries' leaders and security personnel are saying nobody wins in a nuclear war. And they basically saying Russia might use tactical nukes. Basically, they don't cause as much mass destruction. They only cause devastation in a certain area where they release these tactical nukes. But you got Vladimir Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, whose America is constantly sending weapons and our hard paying tax dollars by the billions and by the billions to Ukraine, basically told the United States government, y'all need to go ahead and make the first strike on Russia. Go ahead and nuke them first. Man, y'all see how the powers that be are all working intertwined to make this great reset come about, man. You got to understand, they all can drop these nukes, send these weapons of mass destruction, to each other, meaning America bomb Russia, Russia bomb America, Europe, all these other countries. And guess what the power that be going to do? They're only going to run underground in their bunkers where they got years and years of supplies and food just to sit back and wait till years and years pass and come back to surface the earth to see what's left. Man, these people don't give a fuck about us, man. Y'all got to think about this shit, man. And now it all makes sense. The queen passes, okay, right after she go meets with Lisa Truss, the new prime minister of the UK, who was part of the World Economic Forum. You see how they're putting all their people into place, and now the British pound has failed, completely collapsed. People are over there riding, protesting, but see our local news over here in America, the American outlets are not telling the people what's going on or how these people are in an uproar against their own government, man. And I strongly believe, and for shit to change for us here in America, for we become a nuclear casualty all because of the powers that be are careless and don't give a regards for human life, Man, we're going to have to do something to our own government. We got to remove these people, man. All this voting and all this shit ain't never done nothing and will never do nothing. I done explained to y'all in multiple videos on my YouTube family. The powers that be when dealing with the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, Congress, the senators, they are all working for the globalists, man. Think about it. They are taking orders from the globalists. You got to think about how can one party sit back and let another party destroy this country, destroy their citizens, put their citizens through so much hardship, man, these last couple of years, man. Just think about it. And they ain't even stepping up intervening because they are all working for the same people, the globalists, man. I'm telling y'all. And people are warning about the British pound. It has failed. 
their fiat currency has failed them. A lot of people skip speculating that this is the fall now of the currency monetary system. We're dealing with all the world fiats, meaning the American petrodollar, the British pound, the euro. It's time for them to crash it so they can bring forth their great reset. Then you got other people speculating that the reason the British pound, meaning the uh, United Kingdom's currency has failed with the Queen's picture on their money is because they have crowned a new king and they finna remove all her money off the world stage and bring forth new printed bills with the King's picture on them, which that could be a possibility too. But you got to understand the Euro is collapsing too. Over there in Europe, those folks are protesting, rebellion against the government, but you will never know what's going on in America because they are not publicizing the carnage. I'm telling y'all people, you got to get off these American servers and find these other news outlets. I gave y'all one, the WION news. They give you so much stuff, even stuff that's going on in our own country right here in America that our own lose, our own news outlets ain't even telling us people. How the hell can another country be putting out more information about our own country than our own country news networks, man? Let that sink in, people. But like I say, man, you got Germany and these other countries are handing out iodine potassium pills to their people, man. You know when you need iodine potassium pills? It's when they finna drop nuclear, which causes radiation, man. Think about it. You got a lot of people fleeing from Russia. They talking about closing the borders over there because Putin has put in the put into place where they're going to be drafting the men from 18 years of age all the way up to 60, man. I'm telling you, he has activated another 300,000 reservist troops, man, basically trying to move his power all the way up to from 300,000 to up to 1 million of reservists, bringing them in. That's mean men's off the streets. Family men, working men, everybody is going to be up for grabs when dealing with the men, when dealing with Russia, building his military power, man. You got people fleeing their own country because they do not want to be part of these world powers wars, man. We don't want no part of this shit. We just the people. They got all their family members secure, people. And I'm telling y'all, I feel like they're going to hit America with a cyber attack. EMP cut us off electronically hit our power grid, and that's all they got to do to America, and we will kill it amongst each other. That's exactly what will happen. They ain't got to hit us with no nukes right here in America. We are the laughing stock of the world, man, of United States of America is. We have a president supposed to be the leader of the free world that's shaking his hand that thin air. He don't know which way to go left or right after he gives a speech and addressing his own nation. He has no clue of what's taking place in reality. Joe Biden does not. And it's sad that we have to sit back as a nation and watch them put this man on national television for the entire world to see that he is not competent of being the leader of the American country, man. None of our leaders are. None of the senators, none of the congressmen, none of the Republicans, none of the Democrats. What the hell do we need these people to govern us for, people? They have put us on the brink of World War III. And Vladimir Putin addressed the American president, the government, the secretary of defense, and our whole nation. And he said, I am not bluffing. I will use my nuclear capabilities to protect my country. He said it. And then you got Biden come up with a speech. Well, he's making threats. And if he bothers Ukraine, we are going to. And you got Vladimir Zelensky of Ukraine is telling our government, go ahead and nuke him first. Get the first strike on him. All these people are working together, people. What is so important that they are protecting Ukraine, the Democratic Party? It is so much bad shit taking place over there in Ukraine, man, that's behind the scenes. You got to ask yourself, why have they invested damn near a hundred and five billion dollars, gave them so much weapons, munitions and all this from someone that's not even an ally? Just think about it. Why are they protecting Ukraine? What is so valuable of information there that Joe Biden them is protecting just in my opinion, I feel like they have information to leak out some real sensitive information on the Biden family if he don't comply, meaning Vladimir, Vladimir Zelensky of Ukraine. And another thing, some information I find out, Xi Jinping of China, I do a lot of reading, people. That's why 
I'm dedicated to my YouTube channel because I have a passion for spreading and giving y'all the information that I've learned and the research that I do on a day-to-day basis. I'd be up nights just obtaining information, reading articles, going to different sources. But anyway, dealing with Xi Jinping of China, China's president, they have him on house arrest. His own military came and basically arrested him in a sense and got him on house arrest. Like, what's taking place, people? Like, and I've read some more articles that the the military tribunals are going around rounding up all those who have they have found are attached to the globalists like World Economic Forum, Xi Jinping, Trump, Putin. They're trying to say all these people are really part of the globalists and they are all put in place, meaning Xi Jinping of China, Vladimir Putin of Russia, Donald Trump, which represents the United States, because Putin ain't doing shit. They basically saying they are all part of the globalists behind the scenes to make all this shit take place, meaning the war had to take place. It had to take place. I was in the military. War is big business for these privately owned contractors. I'm telling you, man, war is big business. And in order, like, think about it. The United States is $30 trillion in debt. In order for them to make this debt go away, all they got to do is start a war and reset the whole system. That's all they have to do. You see how they just did the student debt forgiveness? Beans and beans of dollars just wiped away. Now think about what that did to the mindset of the people that paid their way through to get their education. They should reimburse everybody that paid in the education system that furthered their education after high school, they should reimburse everybody who paid to the system when trying to further and getting their degrees when dealing with education. How they did the student debt forgiveness, they should give everybody back who paid to the system with dealing with education because that was a real slap in the fucking face, bro. Real slap, which I, I'm all for helping people out and forgiving debt, but if you had people that actually paid you to screw up, people credited it and made it hard for them to live due to them having to own old student loans back to the government, to the system, you should reimburse them people if you forgave all this other debt. But anyway, man, I just wanted to make this quick video, man. As y'all can see, it's old dark 30. I don't mind rising just to give out the information because this right here has pondered on my brain all last night to do this video when dealing with this nuclear threat when dealing with russia but you got to look at it from both sides russia basically invaded ukraine to get them people to stop the slaughter of they uh, of their civilians man like basically telling them y'all need to stop killing these people what y'all doing is inhumane that's basically a whole part of why vladimir putin of russia invaded ukraine Cause they was over there slaughtering their own people, man. He was all about for change. And the thing about it, he even came with them a peace deal a few months ago, trying to sit down with Zelatomir Zulinski of Ukraine, the president, and say, this is the deal. We're going to lay this down. We're going to bring this peace treaty together, come together, and build back stronger. But guess what United States did in NATO? They intervened. No, nah, no, nah, we ain't taking no deals because they want this war, people. You got to think about it. Before they destroyed the Georgia Guidestones, they said they wanted them to bring the world's population down to 500 million. All they got to do is release a few nukes, whatever. They will devastate this land. This land will be toxic. The sun will be blocked. We will go back to a dark winter. And like they said, even the powers that be, Joe Biden stated, we are coming along. We will be facing a dark winter. We haven't seen that dark winter yet, people. Is this... Could this be the winter that they're talking about? You got to understand how Vladimir Putin cuts off all Russia of Europe's national gas, Germany and all of them. They are out of gas. And he are doing and making strategic moves when causing his corners on the European nation. You got to think about it. He cut off the gas supply right when the cold starting to come in. He finna freeze them people out and show them that he is not playing. He is not selling no oil to no one, none of his natural resources. And everybody who he's dealing with when selling any of his natural resources, you must buy it through the through his ruble, through his currency, or either the Chinese uh, yuan. You got to see how the powers that be are moving, man. And the World Economic Forum, they are sitting back just smiling and smiling like the motherfucking Grinch that stole Christmas because they see that they have their people in place. And they plan is coming out into fruition. And then they saying 
along with Xi Jinping being removed, where he hasn't been removed as president, they just have him like on house arrest. They saying they trying to overthrow the Chinese government and put in their own puppet in Xi Jinping's place in order for this shit to really take place. I'm telling y'all, man, this shit is moving real fast. We are on the brink of World War III. And like our own Secretary of Defense stated, we are at a 50% chance with a nuclear war with Russia. You got to understand, we can't win no war with Russia. We damn sure ain't got the manpower. And we selling so much of our military munitions and tactics to other people. And we are depleting our own stockpile people when dealing with oil, gas, our uh, su- uh, survival skills, meaning our munitions, tactics, ammunition, everything, man. We are depleting our own resources, people, as far as self-defense. You see how they are tearing us down from within, man? Y'all better wait the fuck up and stock up, man. Stock up. Because they hit us with an EMP, like I feel like that's what they're going to do. They're going to hit America with a cyber war, shut us down, grid-wise. Your ass will starve to death, people. Starve to death. I'm, I'm stating this and putting so much emphasis on this to let you know. You will starve to death right here in America if you are not prepared. No one's coming to save you. I keep trying to get y'all to understand that. Even the Holy Bible tells you, God would not save you. You will save yourself. Think about it. The scripture tells you this. God would not save you. You will save yourself. Meaning when you repent and convert to his son, Jesus Christ, that's how you save yourself. It's the same when dealing with your own country, my people, especially of the United States of America. No one's coming to save you. And I feel like by the end of this year, we're going to see some real corners and death on a mass, mass scale, especially with doing with the European nations. Cause Putin got them by the balls. I'm not even gonna lie. He has the whole European nation where he want them when because of our own American government, who gonna leave them people over there to perish, man, in the freezing cold. It's gonna be a mass die-off by the end of this year, going into the next year, man. Man, it's been your boy Blood Ron to next time I'm out.